<laughs> what about you, Andrew? I like that. Oh, yeah? yeah. I like That's mom's. Uh, mom sayings. needs to hook us up with some more wisdom on a regular basis. <laughs> I need mom's number just to, just to get some good things to sprinkle into the newscast here. All right, good morning, everybody. It's the first of the weather day. And mainly up under the northern neck, as we, as we go through the day, we're going to start to see some storms pop. And we think that the available energy that could form these big thunderstorms is highest up on the northern neck. And the timing here from 4 to 10 o'clock, wind, damaging wind. There could be some hail here and also some frequent lightning, all potentials. Now this morning we're starting with some patchy, dense fog um, in the 6 o'clock hour. We think that'll be lifting off here pretty quickly. Hopefully you can get where you need to go without much trouble. I want you to be ready. There could be some spots where the fog is thick, but by 1 in the afternoon we get lots of sunshine. We're really starting to look like more and more very late in the day. We have the window from 4 to 10. But I'm thinking more 7 to 10 o'clock. Again, northern neck is where you have the better chance of getting a strong to severe storm. Probably run of the mill storm if we get it in the rich and metro. But look at the southern portion of our viewing area. You're likely to stay rain free, rain free, excuse me, as the system pushes down to the south through about midnight. So this is not going to be an overwhelming sort of everybody gets rain kind of thing. That potential that there could be a severe storm in the northern neck. We want you to be ready for it. All right, yesterday at 86, it was still pretty humid out there, so that didn't feel cool. But that was our, in quotes, coolest day of the week. And yesterday in the early morning, there was the back edge of a two and two quarters inches of rain downpour at the airport. We got an inch and a half of it after midnight on Monday morning. Um, now I think we have a dry morning, lots of sunshine after that fog lifts and some scattered thunderstorms into the afternoon around 90 for the daytime high today. Uh, tonight dropping down to 70 uh, with partly cloudy skies. For tomorrow, the rain chance is limited. The temperature goes up. We're in the mid 90s. The next big thing is really, an, a, you know, I guess it probably could be called a heat wave for us. We haven't had this kind of heat yet this summer. We typically do, but see how in Bismarck, North Dakota, 94, Regina and Saskatchewan at 93. 103 Wichita, that heat pushes our way. Minneapolis 94 today. We're going to get that stuff tomorrow. So 94 for tomorrow with sun, mid 90s Thursday, mid to upper 90s for Friday and Saturday. Four days with some intense heat and humidity. The overnight lows are going to be the mid 70s. People without air conditioning and or living in apartments, you're going to have a hard time cooling the home off as the temperature dips down into the mid 70s. For your Saturday, an isolated afternoon storm. Sunday is starting to trend drier to me with temperatures in the upper 80s, Monday 87 degrees as well. Again, that first alert weather day tag is mainly for our northern neck viewers. Candace.